Welcome again to another episode on Rowena Explores with a Z. On my channel, I visit unfamiliar places and topics where I learn how to explore, experience, and expose myself to new things and new ideas. I bring my excursions to you in hopes that you will like what I'm doing and if the events or the exploration entices you, then you can take yourself and your family to see these things as well. And when I bring topics to you, I want you to take valuable information from it, apply it to your lives, and probably share it with others who might need to hear the message. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for your support. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button right there. Yes, that's where it's at. And the notification bell in order to get notified when I upload my new videos. Say, okay, guys, thank you so much, so much, so much. Okay, guys, okay, guys, calm down. On this episode, yes, we're going to do another segment of War of the Roses. Yes, and this one is... Hmm. I think it's the one where this guy is flirty, flirty, and the wife thinks he's cheating. All right, that's what it's about. So I don't know, but we'll see what it is. So let's watch it together, so we can both get the information and we can both dissect it to see what's going on if he's really cheating. All right. Let's watch the video. You know, I'm pissed. I, I don't blame you. The video that you sent us and... <laughs> Yeah, my sugar mama, right? Exactly. In the world. You know what? I always had suspicion. I got him this time. He delivers for That's how we met. And I was That's how you whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. He delivers for as we can see in the video. He's and that's how you two met? Hey, we hit it off. We've been married for a year now. And I've always had my suspicions about him because of his past, you know, he's been kind of a player, but I caught him now. It doesn't look good. It, no, I, it doesn't look good, but at the same time, you're really, what have you caught him doing? He's just playing with this woman. That's all he's doing right now. This doesn't. It, he does seem very flirty and the woman seems very comfortable. Who happens to be married as well. Who states in the video that she's willing to take off the quote unquote, take off the ring. Isn't that awful? Crazy, huh? Oh. oh yes, guys. Yes, yes, I do got that picture. Hollywood Hamilton had placed it on his Instagram page. So I went on and I just took a picture of the video. And this and is what it's that right like, oh, See? that's my sugar mama? Like, what is yeah. that? And just to reiterate, the video came from his cell phone? Yes, I, I found it on his phone. And yeah. do you have his, was going it, his phone. Was no password? Is it, he, he runs around with no password? Well, I have my ways to get the password. Yeah, of course he has a password. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Just want to know a little bit of the background. Yeah. <laughs> you will? He's Dwayne. I have to, uh, you know, I have to, I have to watch him. He's Dwayne. Okay, he's Dwayne. So let's okay. now continue to hear the story. Hello? Hi, Dwayne. My name is Maureen. I'm calling from uh, F headquarters over here in Memphis. Hey, everything okay? I'm afraid I have some good news for you. Uh, your supervisors give us names of of employees that they think are just stellar, and your name popped up in New York City. So I wanted to call and tell you that, that you are really being recognized. Your direct supervisor thinks you are the sweetest pie. Uh, the people on your route adore you. They all have wonderful things to say about you. Um, so I wanted to pass that on to you first off. All right. Thank you. I, I appreciate that for real. That means a lot. And even from what we understand, uh, the older gals adore you. Well, what do you mean by that? 
the older women that's on your route, who they think you are cute as punch. All right, that, that, that's cool, it means a lot to me, thank you. Well, you know what? Take the compliment. I wish people told me I was cute as punch, but they don't. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm also calling to let you know, because of all these compliments that you've been getting, the company wants to give you a dozen long stem roses, free of charge, and you can send these roses out to anybody you'd like. Let me get this straight. I, I, you're sending me, you're going to get me roses because I'm sweet to customers? Your superiors have recommended you for these roses. All right, this isn't like the scam or anything. No, like that. it's not a scam. All right, so. It's not a scam. I, what, what do I need? Who do I, I just, like, well, what do I do? First off, I need to know the name of the person that you would like to send these roses to. All right, so they're not going to come to me. They're going to go to the person I choose, basically. That's what you're saying? That's exactly right. All right. Um, who's going to deliver these roses? FedEx will. Okay. So, I guess if I get to choose, like, I mean, I'll choose my wife. Raven. Oh, you're, you're married. Isn't that nice, Wayne? What's your wife's name? Her name's Raven. How, how long have y'all been married? Mm, about a year. Dwayne just dodged a bullet. He dodged that bullet. Because he, he sent, sent the, it to his wife. He sent it to his wife. Dwayne, my name's Hollywood Hamilton. I'm with a radio station here in New York City, WKTU. You've been speaking to the lovely Marie, who's my partner on the radio over here. I'm not from uh, Memphis. No, and I'm not wow. with X. She's actually from Westchester County. Wow. I knew it. And, and uh, you're on something called War of the Roses. I knew it. I and knew it. I knew and it. well, hold on, hold on. In a minute, we're going to give you an incentive. We're going to offer you an incentive in order to air this phone call later on this afternoon. Hi, Dwayne. Oh God. Hey, 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 hey. Mm -hmm. Well, wait, Raven. Hold on a minute, Raven. He sent the roses to you. Yeah, it's going to take more than some roses. But he sent the roses to you. So yeah, <laughs> I went through your phone and I found that video with you and your uh, sugar mama. You call her. I mean, really? Up, really, really, Dwayne? Raven, 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 please. <laughs> I knew, but I knew this, and I finally caught you. Raven, I'm all this Raven, you know I love you. Raven, please stop. Like, I can't. Whatever. Please stop. Whatever. You got to stop, Raven, for real. I mean, this is just a video of me with my customers on routes. I'm chilling with them. We're having a good time. You can't keep going through my phone, Raven. How, how close do you have to get with your customers to deliver a package? Raven, you never caught me cheating. Like, it's just a video. I'm just chilling with the customer. I show it to my coworkers. We joke. This is what guys do. You gotta stop this, yo, for real. Could, no, could, I, yeah, could I just ask, Dwayne? Dwayne, could I? Because I want to hear your side of this. It's, you're saying that Raven does this a lot. Oh, she's out of her mind, jealous. Jealousy yeah. out of her mind. Listen to her. Come on. I'm, I'm going with Dwayne on this all the way. But I'm gonna now. I'm gonna turn it on you because I am on your side, Dwayne. A hundred, not a hundred percent. I'm on your side, eighty-five percent. Because at one point, you did say you were single. Was that what I heard in the yes, video? Yes, you did. Why? What was up with that? Defend yourself in that respect. Uh, all right. I, I mean, sometimes. I'm, I make lapses in judgment. I don't really mean it. I didn't mean it. But I do have a wife I love, and I need to continue to respect. But I just, you know, it just sometimes you get caught up really fast and things happen, you know? Yeah. And then the woman who also said, yes, I have a ring. They were talking about rings. Yeah. You'll see her say, yeah, I have a ring, too, but I can take it off, she said. Yeah, but I can take it off. Oh. I kind of get the feeling like you really, really love your wife. I love her more than anything in this world. Not even gonna lie to you. Raven, you know how I feel about you. I love you, my wife. Like, I'm building, we building something together. But, like, I, I really need you to trust me as a man and not go through my phone. Like, I'm trying to make sure that we good. So please just, like, respect my privacy, my stuff, and I respect your stuff, and we're going to grow. Wow, that was good. That was real good. And Raven, he should not have a password on his phone. You should have access to his phone whenever he wants, or at least he should give you the password to the phone, and you can look at it whenever you want, right? I agree, yep.
But at some point, you're going to have to trust your husband. You're going to have to just say, you know what? I'm going to get it out of my head, and we should just focus on each other, and we're going to talk, and we're going to spend time with one another. You have to decide whether you want to do that. It's I kind of, I mean, he sounds genuine. Doesn't he sound genuine, I think so. And you hit it right on the money, because when I got married to Marina, first thing, I mean, I said I do. Yep. We walked out to take pictures, and uh -huh. right after we got out of the I do's, yep. she went right to me and says, that pass. Password. What is the password number? And you so, have hers, though. I have hers. So we exchanged it there right away go. right there. Everything stopped right then and uh -huh. there. Uh-huh. Closing thoughts. Ravens. Okay. Listen, Dwayne. If you give me your password to your phone, your email, you can have my phone password, okay? Because I don't have anything to hide from you, all right? And I need the flirting to stop. You just have to stop, okay? And then we can try. Dwayne. Uh, Dwayne. Uh, Dwayne. I guess. Did we do this? Almost there. Oh We're so close. Almost over the finish line. Okay, I feel guys. A trip. So. A trip. You're in pot. Now that you heard the whole story, what do you think? Do you think he's cheating, or he's just being flirtatious? Okay. Well, for me. I believe he's being flirtatious and I believe he's taking women's numbers and probably communicating with them over the phone. That's one of the reasons why he's apprehensive as to allowing his wife to know his password because he knows females might be calling him. On the other hand, with the wife, when women have to go to the extent where they find the password for their husband or spouse's phone to get into it, to look for something, it could be that the person is cheating, yes. It could be because the person is insecure and she just want to know or she's overly jealous or it could be because she's at a point where she wants to get out of the relationship and she wants to find proof that something exists but in this war of the roses case i think she's just overly jealous and just wanted to know because she sensed something might be going on what where he's not divulging any information because he said he loved her very much and he she's his world so he wouldn't do anything like that is just being flirtatious my thought is that whenever a husband and wife becomes one I don't believe they should have any lock on their phone I believe he should be able to leave the phone it rings hello or he go and say babe your phone is ringing or honey come get your phone and she could say answer it for me or this one say answer it for me you know I believe that could that it is what it should be if you guys are truly done with the world out there because that's the only way other women or men would be calling your phone if it's you have unfinished business out there or you have given someone your phone number and you don't want your other significant person to know about it so that's my take on this part of it it is just sad that she has to go through that extent by any means necessary to get the the the, the uh the, the password but I don't think anyone should have luck on their path on their phone if you don't trust the person then that's another thing but I don't believe they should have a lock on their phones I believe it should be open because you trust each other and you're in a partnership and you're in you're as one that's just my take so I don't believe she should have gone through that detective phase just to get or that not even detective because she didn't go to find it she was more a computer tech or a, some kind of um intelligence 
something I don't know what to say but she went to the extent to get the password and what she found she didn't like and sometimes that's what happened when you go search for something you find something but anyway that's just my take on today's War of the Roses. Don't go searching in your spouse's phone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone because what you go searching for, you will definitely find. This is my take. This is Rowena Explores. Give me your opinion. Let me know what you think about this War of the Roses. And I know he's not going to give <laughs> give his wife his password because he has a lot of unfinished mess that he needs to clean up. Did you hear what he told the, the lady? He's single. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, May Explorers, this is another excursion, another discussion in Rowena Explorers. Please remember to share the video. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do so right here, right there, wherever it is, the subscribe button. And subscribe to my channel. And um, all the best. Take care. Rowena Explorer signing off. Bye.